Hello guys and welcome to the second part of second lesson uh, user interface of GSTAR CAD 2021. Uh, we are going to continue to talk about um, the, uh, toolbars. Uh, toolbars partially contains buttons. So we go to GSTAR CAD classic and th th these are the toolbars. Toolbars par par partially contain buttons and start commands. When you move your mouse uh, or pointing device over toolbar button, the toolbar tip displays the name of the button. So new, publish, redo, redo, quick call, uh, and things like that. The standard toolbar at the top of the drawing area contains commonly used commands such as copy, pan, zoom, uh, as well, Microsoft Office standard commands such as new, open, save. GSTAR CAD 21 Classic Workspace initially displays several toolbars by default. Draw toolbar, draw order toolbar, modify toolbar. So this is draw toolbar, this is modify toolbar, the properties toolbar, uh, layer toolbar, uh, style toolbar. So this is style toolbar and uh, standard toolbar. Uh, displaying and hiding toolbars you can do by uh, uh, by uh, clicking here uh, right click uh, on this area here and uh, uh, G star cat and you have like all of these uh, um, toolbars that you can select to show or hide so hide show you have like express collab and lock location customize you can uh, customize the toolbars and things like that uh, to make a floated uh, horizontal dock toolbar just click and hold the left side of it and drag around the place you need so you can rearrange wherever you want uh, to make a floated vertical dock toolbar just click and hold the top of it and drag it around to dock any toolbar just double click it at the left side of it so we can make it horizontally like this or double clicking it So, uh, starting commands using toolbars. To start a command from toolbar, just click on it. So, if we need uh, to draw something, just click it and we will start using this command. So, we're going to delete this and we are going to talk a little about user coordinate system, UCS. This icon here indicates the orientation of the drawing in two dimensional space so we have x and y axis uh, here also uh, we have model space and layout space tabs so here in model we have indefinitely area to draw something and here we have layout uh, for uh, uh, making um, uh, print pr for uh, for making uh, uh, papers f from for for making documentation from the things that we have in model uh, so uh, now we are going to talk about the command window the command window is a dockable window in which you can type commands and leave prompts and other program messages you can move the command bar by dragging it so we can we can move it and you you can see that when you drag or move you have like uh, these options that you 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 can use to um, to 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 dock it like e e more easier to dock and we're going to expand it a little bit so uh, 
you you can enter the commands on the command line like uh, just click here and uh, uh, type the full command uh, name we are going to type uh, tr trim okay you can uh, click enter or space to activate the command and here it is we have the options we can click ok and we are going to trim something we are going to um, explain what the trim option is later uh, you can uh, uh, specify command options by using command line once you have entered the command on the command line it displays a set of options of a dialog box to choose a different option enter one of the options in the brackets either uppercase or lowercase letter is okay and then press enter or spacebar so uh, we, we saw this at the workspace we have like options here like set current save as added rename and we are just going to click here edit and we are going to get this command uh, to execute repeat and cancel commands to execute execute commands press spacebar or enter or right click your point device when the command names have been entered or responsive to prompts if you want to repeat a command that you have just used press enter or spacebar so we are going to press enter and we are going to have this customized user interface again and when you want to uh, leave just uh, if you want to leave something just click escape button if you want to leave the command in progress so we are drawing something and we want to get out we just click uh, escape button so we are going to delete this um, nesting a command to use a command inside of active command type an apostrophe before you, you you type the command for example you can turn up object snap while you're drawing a circle so we are going to uh, draw a little circle and we are going to type apostrophe uh, and uh, uh, object apostrophe or snap and we are going to get this uh, drafting settings for object osnap that we can turn in on turn out uh, we can enter system variables on the command line system variables are available for controlling how certain commands work so for example grid mode is used to control the grid status on or off so we are going to uh, click grid uh, mode and uh, one is uh, for active zero is for uh, turning it off or uh, you can use it like here just clicking uh, but we will explain that later a uh, small tip when you double click the scroll button on your mouse uh, it will um, zoom all like uh, display all the drawings you have on the uh, all the contents you have on on the drawings um, next uh, we are going to talk about using the prompt history window the prompt history window displays a history of the commands and prompts used since you started the current session of uh, gstar a cad to display it or close it uh, you press f2 button so f2 button F2 button open, F2 button closed, F2 button open, F2 button closed. It is uh, very uh, useful when you um, want to uh, uh, measure some area of, uh, and uh, you, you will get a result uh, here on, on in the command line. And if uh, you see that you only have some of the lines here on the command line, and when you press F2, you get a lot of more, and you can uh, you can uh, scroll it down to see everything that you input uh, from the beginning of uh, your work session. Um, 
uh, you can switch dialog boxes and command line if you uh, enter line type on the command line line type click ok the line top manager uh, dialog box will uh, pop up uh, entering uh, entering uh, line type on the command line displays the equivalent command line options so uh, you, you we click here and say line type click here and say line line type click OK we get again here so uh, that's our mistake uh, we are moving forward the next one is dynamic input dynamic input box is a floating window which appears near the cross cursor when we are set to type something it provides a, a conven uh, conventional method for users to input commands or system variables dynamically and display the index information when your dynamic input is turned on a drops box will appear near the cross cursor so when we uh, begin to type something like uh, workspace we get uh, all the options that we have uh, included with war we, we will type something else stream and you see uh, you have options uh, which, which can you uh, use uh, to, uh, to 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 get uh, something to, to, to select something with hatch and something like that uh, so very powerful option next option is the status bar uh, display information this is the status bar it displays information such as uh, cursor coordinates uh, that are here uh, you know, we have a, a snap grid polar all our uh, object or snap uh, or, or track and uh, line line weight like you, you see here we don't have line weight turned on and here we have line weight turned on you see the difference between these two it's very powerful option uh, you have scale here you have uh, enable you you, uh, you can whatever whatever option you want you you you, you can uh, choose uh, here uh right click uh, on some of the options and you will get uh, more options for that like uh, uh, like uh, we will get through all of uh, this is just a quick summary of the options that gstar cad provides and in later videos we are going to explain everyone every one of the options like every feature and everything so uh, don't worry this is a, a tutorial for total beginners to adapt to gstar cad concept and um, and to learn to work in gstar cad uh, and the next uh, and the last one in this video we're going to talk about the properties palette you can modify the value of properties you wanted in each column here the properties palette show all properties of specific object like this is uh, no selection so it's like some basically but if we select something like this line you have like um, general options like line weight you can change here line weight like you you, you see that it change you can um, change the line type like it's it's uh, it's just regular line you can change back you can uh, uh, here you have a geometry that are related to point cloud that we are going to talk about in some future lessons and uh, the things like that uh, uh, that's about it for uh, the user interface quick summary like um, in the next video we are going to talk 
um, about uh, uh, some more of uh, options that are uh, that are uh, uh, available in GSTAR CAD if you have any uh, questions or you need more information about this program feel free to contact us through our website or the email that are that we will put in the description below this video uh, until the next time uh, best regards your Adria beam team bye